Hey, today I'm going to show you how to use crit controllers in Playtime 2. Playtime has built-in support for many popular controllers, and more will follow in the future. Setting up a supported controller is quite simple. All you need to do is to connect it while Playtime is running. If it's already connected, just disconnect it for a moment and connect it again. If Playtime detected your controller, it will show a green confirmation box on the bottom of the screen. You will see this only the first time you connect the controller. Let's have a closer look at the controller. In this case, a Novation Launchpad. The clips of the Playtime matrix should be reflected there. You can scroll to show different parts of the matrix using the arrow buttons. So, as you can see, Playtime set up everything for us automatically. Under the hood, it added a new entry to the global controller list. Global means it will be available to all of your projects. Press the settings button in the window title bar, navigate to the controllers section, and here it is, the Launchpad Pro MK2. By the way, Playtime added it automatically, but you can also add controllers manually. Now let's choose a nice color for the Launchpad. This color directly influences the color of the unit frame in the matrix. You can change the behavior of the launchpad by choosing a different relearn main preset for it. At the moment there's only one built-in preset compatible with the launchpad pro. However, you could use relearn to build your own preset, which is a quite deep topic on its own. Now, one special thing about playtime is that you can have multiple instances of it either in different project tabs or even within one project. Maybe you want to opt out of this global control for one specific instance. You can do that by pressing the global control button in the Helgo box navigation bar on the left. See how the launchpad turns inactive as you press a button and turns active when you press a button again. Let's say you want this playtime instance to be controlled by the launchpad but you don't like this orange unit frame covering the slots. There is a convenient option in the settings to hide all unit frames. Many grid controllers have more functions than just triggering clips. For example, muting, soloing or record arming tracks. And that's it for today, see you at the next tutorial.